A bombshell new report alleges Meghan Love humiliating her staff, who thought the former actress was a narcissist and sociopath. Never let it be said that the Queen is not a consummate performer. There she was yesterday on the final day of Ascot looking pleased as punch to finally be allowed out of Windsor Castle to enjoy her favorite pastime, ogling very expensive horses. Wearing turquoise and a jaunty hat, Her Majesty smiled broadly and was seen laughing, chuckling even, despite the fact that none of her own GGs won a single race. But if there's one skill the 95-year-old has perfected during her reign it is being able to go out and put on a bobby dazzler of a good show for the public, even when a truly bombshell new report is threatening to overwhelm Buckingham Palace. Yesterday, The Times published an explosive new report making a series of allegations about Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex including that Kensington Palace staff thought she was a complete narcissist and sociopath, basically unhinged, that she had humiliated and shouted at staff that Prince William had been horrified when he was told about Meghan's alleged behavior and that he wanted the Duchess removed from the two couple's shared household, and that William wished to be separated from Meghan on a day-to-day basis. Think it's been a tumultuous, rocky few months in the royal world? Pa! These incendiary claims have just ratcheted things up, devastatingly. The Duke of Sussex revealing his wife encouraged him to get therapy when working as a royal presents a disconnect with the Duchess' previous claims, according to a TV host. A TV host claimed that Prince Harry made a slip of the tongue when he said on a podcast that Meghan Markle encouraged him to seek therapy for mental health issues. On May 13 last year the Duke of Sussex opened up on Dax Shepard's podcast about seeking professional help due to struggling with the stresses of life as a working royal. He said that it was his wife who pushed him in that direction. In the couple's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, which aired on March 8 of that year, Meghan claimed that she was refused help. She told Oprah, I went to the institution and I said that I needed to go somewhere to get help. I said, I've never felt this way before and I need to go somewhere. And I was told that I couldn't, that it wouldn't be good for the institution. This was questioned by Andrew Bolt on Sky News Australia, who asked, didn't she say in her notorious interview with Oprah Winfrey that when she wanted to go see a therapist herself Buckingham Palace refused her permission? Prince Harry, the actual prince could get therapy but his wife could not? Royal commentator Daisy Cousins agreed, adding, It is pretty extraordinary, I didn't actually pick that up until you mentioned it. That is very well spotted because there is a giant disconnect there between the two stories. Quite a slip of the tongue from Harry. The whole big point they made in the interview was that the palace would not let Meghan get any therapy because they thought it would look bad. I am sorry but if this is true why would Prince Harry be allowed to get therapy? It came after Harry spoke more about his struggles living as a senior member of the royal family in Apple TV Plus documentary The Me You Can't See. There. He revealed he was willing to use alcohol and drugs to mask the anxiety he felt after Princess Diana's death. It was also revealed this week that the Sussexes may be set for a second interview with Oprah.